A variety of geometric and dimensional constraints can be applied to walls, column grids, columns, beams, curtain walls, multi-view blocks, and mass elements. These constraints allow you to specify precise and persistent positioning between objects. In this example, four randomly drawn walls can have geometric relationships established where some must always be perpendicular to another. In some instances, some walls may always need to be parallel. Still yet, in other instances, walls may need to maintain a certain distance from each other for the purpose of keeping the desired clear space for an exit corridor, for example. Now that we've seen the overview of constraints, let's look at it in practice. Here, we have a situation where we've established dimensional and geometric relationships in this room. For example, the closet will always be one-third the size of the overall room. Furniture has been attached to an adjacent wall. Changing the size of the overall room will automatically resize a closet. And if the right constraints are in place, rotating a wall will automatically rotate the whole room, even the furniture in it. Additionally, spaces that have been affected by any design change will automatically update as well.